hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper if this is your first time here this video is one in my research series so what I did was search the last 90 days on eBay for costume jewelry that sells for big money so we're gonna start at a hundred dollars we're gonna go all the way up to almost nine hundred dollars and a lot of this costume jewelry sells for more than jewelry that is made of gold and silver so these are some brands and some styles you definitely should know All right, so I have done a few jewelry videos. They were more specific like on necklaces and brooches and things like that, but this one is just gonna be an overall one of some Bolo brands for costume jewelry. If you don't know, Bolo means be on the lookout for. So I do make these videos primarily for resellers who are going to estate sales or looking at online auctions. So I want you to learn some of these brands that sell for good money. The first one up is a Boucher. This is a vintage Boucher gold plated with rhinestones. This is a snail choker necklace and this one sold for $100, $99.99. Boucher is a great brand. I have sold a Boucher brooch for several hundred dollars. So keep an eye out for this brand. Up next is a Coro. I think most of us know Coro. I think something that's really important to remember if you're finding Coro, some of them are only worth five to ten dollars, but if you find the right designs, they can be more valuable. This next Coro is actually missing a few stones and still sold for over a hundred dollars. This is a signed Coro vintage long flower brooch. This was an auction, got 14 bids, sold for $108.50. Here are the brooches up close. So you can see there are multiple pearls missing from this brooch on the right side there. And here it is in their hand. You can see a little bit better. I think what made this one sell a little bit higher is that blue enamel because Coro does a lot of gold tone and brushed gold leaf brooches that do not bring much, but this one has that really, really pretty blue enamel. All right, up next is a brand that I have not heard of in doing all of my research videos on vintage jewelry, and this brand is Dominique. This is a rare 1960s Dominique lion head. It does say trembler and I will show you why it is called that here in a moment. This is a main brooch pen. It is costume jewelry. This one sold for $110. Here is that lion up close. Really, really cool statement brooch. And here you can see them holding it on the side. So the parts of the lion's mane are actually little chains, so they do move. So that is why this is called a trembler. And here is the back of that lion, and it is marked Dominique. All right, up next is something if you do not know, you need to know, and that is amber. And when you have an amber piece that has insects or bugs inside of it, it makes it most of the time quite a bit more valuable. This is an insect inclusion brooch amber look so this is not even actually amber it just says it's amber look this was from the 50s to 60s it is a bar costume jewelry pen this one was from australia it sold for 147 australian dollars and here is that brooch up close you can see it does have a bar and then the actual brooch is hanging from it with the insect inside of that amber toned stone and here it is in the hand i think it's really really cool the way they did this picture and let the light show through it definitely gives it more definition up next is another brand that i haven't come across and this brand is at regency 
This is a vintage signed Regency Ruby Red Rhinestone Butterfly Brooch. This was an auction, got 17 bids, sold for $122.50. Here you can see that butterfly up close really really pretty and this is a brooch on black and then here you can see it in their hand how big it is so this one definitely was a larger statement piece all right up next is an austria brooch this one is clear stones which to me normally do not bring as much money but this one is a duo brooch so keep an eye out for ones that mirror each other and are kind of a duet some of those can be very valuable this is an austria rhinestone duet brooch pin dress collar clips this one they did put costume and estate jewelry it sold for 125 dollars here you can see that brooch up close again it is two sides completely mirroring each other and here is the back so you can see what that pen looks like and then here up close you can see it does clearly say made in austria all right, up next is a brand that in quite a few of my vintage jewelry videos had some of the highest dollar selling ones. This one only sold for $125, but if you found this at a low cost, this would be a great pickup. This is a vintage signed Miriam Haskell Baroque Glass Pearl Necklace. This one is 17 inches long. It sold for $125. Here I did want to show you up close the clasp on the back clearly says Miriam Haskell. All right, up next is a Weiss brooch. This is another big statement, very, very bold color brooch, which is something I definitely keep an eye out for. When I'm looking at jewelry lots, I look to see if there are these big, flashy, colorful brooches. This is a large two inch vintage costume jewelry, Weiss glass rhinestone domed round brooch pen. This one sold for $125. Here you can see it up close. Very, very bright blue, green, pink, and red. And here on the back, this one is clearly marked Weiss. All right, if you watched our Hawaiian shirt video, we had Yves Saint Laurent. Again, not sure on the pronunciation if I'm butchering it. I am sorry, it is YSL. We had a Hawaiian shirt by them. Now we have a bracelet. Yeah. This is a Saint Laurent cuff YSL designer costume jewelry logo. This is a black resin with crystals bracelet. This one was from the UK. It sold for $94. Here you can see the cuff up close with that classic YSL as well as red and blue rhinestone. And here I wanted to show you this one was new with the original tag. Up next is another clear rhinestone piece. This one's actually a bracelet that is unbranded that sold for over $100. This is a 1960s jewelry open clasp rhinestone bracelet. It does say many stones, white metal base. This one sold for $132.79. Here you can see that bracelet laid out. And then here they are holding it in their hand, showing that it does clasp on the top. All right, next is a Bakelite bow there can be some very very pricey bakelite pieces this piece is coming in at 125 dollars this is a vintage brown bakelite bow ribbon brooch it does say pin carved costume jewelry again sold for 125.33 here the brooch is looking at it from the top and then here on the back i did want to show you the clasp and then from the side, I wanted to show you how cool the 3D effect was on this brooch. All right, up next is a really, really cool Lucite piece with faces. This one is from the UK. This is not a designer I'm familiar with. Let me know if you've heard of Zandra Rhodes. This is a Zandra Rhodes Manhattan Faces chunky vintage Lucite necklace this one sold for $120.
here up close you can see the lips and the face on one of the faces and then here on the back i did want to show you the little hanging tag that does say z r all right up next is carl lagerfeld and we have seen some pieces from him before in some of the high dollar videos this piece sold for almost two hundred dollars so these are vintage carl lagerfeld costume jewelry clip-on earrings this was an auction got 24 bids they sold for 144 dollars and 50 cents here you can see the pearls almost with like a sun effect around them as well as the outer heart shape and here on the back inside you can see it is clearly marked lagerfeld all right up next is a piece from west germany i have found quite a few pieces from west germany they are like almost any of these other brands and that is that they can be bread and butter they can sell for five ten fifteen dollars some of them can be more valuable like this next one this is a vintage west germany filigree pink art glass rhinestones pin this was a brooch and earring set it sold for 145 dollars here you can see the brooch up close another larger statement piece beautiful pink petals there and filigree work as well as an amazing middle stone and then here on the back of the earring you can see it does clearly say west germany up next is an unbranded set so there are some unbranded that can bring big money but it's harder to know which ones will and which ones won't so if you price too high you might be sitting on it for a while one of the safer options might be to do an auction start at the lowest price you're willing to take i typically with my auctions just like to make sure they end on friday saturday or sunday night try to run them for a seven or ten day auction that way i get as many eyes on it as i can Start it at what you're willing to take and see if it'll go up high. This was a vintage costume jewelry brooch set. Gold with orange and green and yellow rhinestones. It sold for $149.95. Here you can see the setup close. A beautiful, beautiful topaz color as well as the green. And here on the back, I wanted to show you that it is not marked up next is another brand i had not seen so i did run across quite a few brands that i was not familiar with this next brand is sherman this is a vintage sign sherman pink rhinestone flower this one was an auction got 11 bids and sold for 152 dollars and 50 cents here you can see the flower up close really really pretty another statement brooch and here i wanted to show you from the side this one definitely has a 3d dome effect on it and here on the back you can see it was clearly marked sherman up next is a juliana this is on the lower end of the price spectrum for juliana no juliana pieces are marked they did have original hang tags so you would have to do some research to find out if the piece you have is juliana or not this next piece is a beautiful beautiful triple flower brooch this is a juliana pink watermelon and pink rhinestone flower brooch it sold for $149.99 here it is up close beautiful beautiful stones on this and here on the back again no juliana pieces are marked and this one did sell for a little bit lower than a lot of julianas that i have seen up next is another miriam haskell this is a brooch that was an auction and it sold for a little over 150 dollars this is a Miriam Haskell signed brooch. They did put costume jewelry. This one got four bids, sold for $152.50. And here on the back of the brooch, you can see it is clearly marked Miriam Haskell. All right, up next is a Trafari set. It is a necklace, earrings, and a brooch. 
this is a three-piece vintage trafari gold tone leaf design this one was an auction got 10 bids and sold for hundred and sixty dollars and fifty cents and here you can see the setup close really really pretty brushed gold tone this one looks to be in excellent condition and here on the back you can see it was clearly marked trafari all right we have got another west germany filigree piece really really pretty green stones that sold for over 150 dollars this is a vintage west germany filigree green cabochon which just simply means a rounded stone faux pearl necklace and earring set this one sold for 159.95 here i wanted to show you that necklace up close a beautiful beautiful green stone there in the middle as well as the carved leaf ones around it all right, up next is a brand that we have seen a couple of times, and that is Starrett. This is a vintage Starrett silver tone rhinestones ribbon bow brooch. This one sold for $165.75. Here up close in the hand, I wanted to show you this is a very, very large brooch. It is missing a couple of stones I do see there in the picture. And then here on the back, I wanted to show you it is clearly marked Starrett. All right, we have got another brooch coming in, another one missing stones. So there have been quite a few on this video selling for over $100 with missing stones. So don't always discount those that don't have all their stones. This is a antique vintage blue topaz glass fur dress clip pin. This was an Eisenberg. This one sold for $175. Here I wanted to show you up close. Again, this one is missing a couple of the larger stones and I didn't have a picture of the back of this one, but most Eisenberg is marked. All right, up next is a signer pair of earrings. This is a vintage signer pink cabochon clip-on earrings this set of earrings sold for 175 dollars here they are up close they do say pink uh, i don't know if the color's off a little bit in that picture hard to tell that they are pink and here on the back you can see this is clearly marked signer all right up next is a fendi bar brooch this one sold for 184 dollars this is an Italy Roma 1925 Fendi signed brooch, bright gold plated costume jewelry. Again, sold for 184. Here it is up close, really, really pretty red cabochon. It does say Fendi on it, as well as here on the back, I wanted to show you that it is marked Fendi there on the right side of the brooch. All right, up next is some Chanel. You would think, at least I would think, that most Chanel would be worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars. That is not necessarily always the case. This next one sold for just under 200. This is a Chanel vintage costume jewelry pearl earrings used they sold for $198.50 here up close you can see the intertwined CC which is for Coco Chanel up next another brand I've not run across either so I hope you are learning a lot of new brands just like I did doing this video this next brand is Barrera this is a Barrera earrings crystal chandelier style costume jewelry golden rhinestone this set of earrings sold for $200 and here on the back you can see it is clearly marked Barrera all right up next is another set so if you find sets i would leave them together they typically are going to be more valuable when sold as a set this next set is a set of earrings as well as a brooch this is a kramer costume jewelry brooch and earrings sold for 200 dollars. and here i wanted to show you on the back of the clip-on earring these are clearly marked kramer all right we have got some more signer there are some more earrings i have not 
I've not done research video on earrings because I'm not a giant earring fan. I will sell earrings, but they are not one of my favorite things to pick up and photograph. I much prefer brooches and necklaces, but we came across quite a few sets of earrings in this video. So here is another pair. This is a set of two pairs of Signer vintage costume jewelry earrings. They were an auction, got 21 bids and sold for $200.50. Here you can see them up close, beautiful, beautiful green and red stones. Another brand I haven't heard of, this next one is Monty Don. Again, please let me know if you knew these brands and I was just in the dark and didn't know them because I found it really interesting that I came across so many brands that I did not know. This is a Monty Dawn signed vintage 1980s crystal costume jewelry earrings. They sold for $202.71. Here they are up close. They're really, really cool. They actually remind me of an open fan. And here on the back, you can see it is clearly marked Monty Dawn. All right. Next is another Miriam Haskell piece. I have a few sets of Miriam Haskell in my store right now that are absolutely beautiful. They are higher dollar and with a lot of the higher dollar jewelry items, sometimes it does take a little while to find the right buyer so they can be longer tail. So just keep that in mind if you're selling jewelry. This is a Miriam Haskell gold and white brooch pen. This was an auction, got 12 bids, sold for $232.50. Here it is up close, really, really cool with the crystals hanging down from it. And then here on the back, this one is clearly marked Miriam Haskell. This and next one, I am honestly surprised that only sold for right at $300. It is a beautiful Stanley Hagger piece. This is a Stanley Hagler New York City Christmas tree costume jewelry brooch. I feel like this is worth more than $2.95, but that is what it sold for. Here it is up close, and the detail and workmanship on Stanley Hagler pieces is absolutely amazing, as you can see. And here on the back, you can see it is clearly marked Stanley Hagler NYC. All right, we have got another Yves Saint Laurent piece coming in at $300. This is a rare Yves Saint Laurent gold tone acorn necklace, costume jewelry, excellent use condition, sold for $300. Here it is up close. I think this necklace is really, really cool with the acorns. And here on the back, you can see the hang tag that clearly says YSL. All right, up next is a Jomaz piece. And we did come across Jomaz quite a bit in the high dollar brooch videos. This is a beautiful signed vintage Jomaz hummingbird pen. This is a brooch. They did misspell it, which is something you really, really want to be careful about when you're doing your listing. Do a double check on your spelling. This brooch sold for $355. And here up close, you can see beautiful, beautiful red, clear, and green rhinestones. All right, up next is a beautiful piece by Alice Cavaness. This is an Alice Cavaness Pureur rare vintage costume jewelry bracelet earrings and brooch set this set sold for 395 dollars here you can see them laid out up close beautiful beautiful light and darker green stones on this one and here on the back you can see it is clearly marked alice cavaness all right we are up to our top five costume pieces they are going to go from 400 up to over 800 dollars and the first one is an absolutely amazing piece by signer this is a vintage high quality signer jewelry set it is a brooch and earrings they sold for 415 dollars i wanted to show you up close these are really really bright vibrant definitely a statement brooch there and then here on the back you can see it is clearly marked signer all right what would a costume jewelry video be without shriner 
New York. Shriner New York held the highest vintage brooches going up for thousands of dollars in my brooch only video. This is the only piece by Shriner in this video and it is a beauty. This is a vintage Shriner New York brooch pin costume jewelry. This was an auction, got 23 bids, sold for $521. I did want to show you this here from the side just the beautiful pink and green stones definite 3d effect there and then here on the back it is clearly marked Shriner New York all right we have our first Trafari by Alfred Philippe another name that brings top top dollar and this is a beautiful brooch this is a rare signed Trafari Alfred Philippe Jewels of India mogul paisley pen this one sold for 599 dollars here you can see it up close a beautiful beautiful feathered leaf there with the turquoise colored stones as well as the clear rhinestone and here on the back you can see underneath that pen it is clearly marked trafari all right this next piece is stunning it is a fur clip so it has two clips here it has the chain in between to be worn with like a first sole absolutely amazing it is by eisenberg this is a rare signed eisenberg original chatelaine fur clips costume jewelry sold for 750 dollars here you can see both of these are pretty big and then again they would connect your scarf or your stole and here on the back you can see it is clearly marked eisenberg all right we are up to our highest piece of costume jewelry for this video and it is a beautiful miriam haskell this is a vintage gorgeous miriam haskell glass baroque pearls and red watermelon glass set this set sold for $875. This is a beautiful, beautiful set by Miriam Haskell. Some of her sets can go up in the thousands. So definitely a name to keep an eye out for. All right, that is the end of the costume jewelry. So what I did different in this video is I researched costume jewelry versus in the other videos, I researched a vintage brooch or vintage necklace. So a lot of stuff didn't come up when I just put costume jewelry, but I just wanted to get us some different names in here, some different pieces. I think this was a fun video to do. I hope it helped you to increase your knowledge of different brands to look out for when you're buying jewelry jewelry i hope you have an absolutely amazing amazing weekend don't forget if you are interested in different reselling classes my september master classes are out and you can get a package deal for four for only 70 dollars and that is four live at least one hour classes we have researching and shipping and photographing there are a bunch of different options so definitely check that out enjoy your weekend thank you so much for watching i will see you on monday right into you i get all tongue-tied want you to know me but i'm